continue our segments on Guide to Getting Hitched. And uh, the Hagen History Center is a fabulous spot, a wedding venue. We've talked about many aspects of it. Uh, what are we focusing in on today? Photos of, uh, of you or whomever is going to be in your party mm. or at your wedding or whatever event you want to have at the venue. And uh, I brought along some really fun photos from some old, old ones. So when they show up on the TV, there's some really well, cool no. ones in so there. So that is something to keep in mind as you're looking at venues. <coughs> you should be thinking, how will this photograph? And do I like the background? And all of those things, I'm sure. What kind of questions should you ask when you're touring venues concerning that? Well, I think a lot of people, what they think of is, uh, I want a photo on a staircase. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to kind of practice where you're going to take that. Because sometimes staircases are very difficult to photograph so that you can see everything. For example, in ours, we have stained glass windows behind it, but you're lighting. So there are a lot of things that you want to make sure your photographer knows. Mm -hmm. um, and seasonality. Uh, for example, we just wrapped up a, a beautiful sunflower field at mm -hmm. our Yellow House in Girard. Everybody, mm -hmm. everybody from what counties, multiple counties, was out there taking photos. So, you know, your seasonality, what's going to be in bloom if you're thinking about during the summer, uh, where would you want to stand, what's your lighting going to be like depending on the time of day. Yeah. So there are a lot of questions that you want to make sure you ask your photographer. It, I was going to say, should you have a photographer come with you? Like if you already have a photographer chosen, and mm -hmm. this is very important to you, and it's an expensive service part of the wedding. Um, have you ever had a bride or a groom bring the photographer along to say this would be a great spot? We have and we've also had a lot of folks come they might have their um, engagement photos mm. or the photographer might call and say hey is it okay if I just come in and walk around and and a lot of them will come you know we have free days people will come in and they're looking specifically for something or they can just tour anytime. I mean, they don't need to make an appointment. They can tour any day. The only day we're closed is Monday. Yeah. So folks can just come in and walk around leisurely so that they don't have to have a formal tour. Right. Of course, we can answer all their questions during a formal tour, sure. but you know, anybody can come in and, and pay admission and walk through all of the buildings. And uh, our Yellow House is not open all the time. That one was the, but you know, folks can walk around outside and they do. Yeah. And of course we had everybody again in the sunflowers, but we have a trail out there. So we do have a lot of folks come out and you know, just they get to walk around and see how beautiful it is. How do you go about requesting a formal tour if you would like to do that? Uh, events at eerieweddings.net, just an email, just a quick email. Mm -hmm. um, of course, folks can call us at 814-454-1813 and just set up a date and uh, a lot of people do it through email. It's usually a little bit easier. Right. So and the nice easy. thing about the Hagen and the complex is that you've got the formality of the mansion uh, indoors or you have the informality of the yellow house outdoors. A lot of different types of feels mm -hmm. when it comes to a wedding venue or a party venue. Right. And we also have the uh, president's room, which is the, right. the, you know, one of my favorites. The and lots of, we talked about them before, the micro weddings. We just had another one about a week ago. Um, folks took terrific pictures down there and then in front of that house. It's, it's a, it was a mansion in its own time. Yeah. But the, you know, the front porch is all wrought iron and those beautiful big double doors. So I love the idea of the micro wedding. H how many people were in attendance for this one? Uh, th they probably had 40, but mm -hmm. then after they're finished, again, they can go outside, they can take photos on. There's two porches on yeah. that building. And the other, you know, the other buildings are not open in the evening, but you can take, we have some beautiful photos people yeah. have taken at night, just stunning. But a lot of people are scaling down and uh, to know that you've got many different options depending on your, your wedding size, your bridal size, et cetera, you've got lots of great options at the Hagen History Center. Yes, we sure do. Yeah. Give that website one more time if you'd like a, a formal tour. EerieWeddings.net is the website and you would send your email to events at EerieWeddings.net. And you can also go to EerieHistory.org uh, just for their basic website to kind of get a feel for uh, what's there and what buildings are there and, and their beauty and grandeur. Pam, it's nice to see you. You too. Pam. Yeah, thanks for coming in today. And we will be right back.